Porsche. That's a Porsche? Yeah. Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory, and you join me today at DRT. This is a Das Rentreffen. This is a huge, huge Porsche car show, Coke Porsche meetup. Uh, there are so many cars here. So, we're gonna go around, check out the cars. It's gonna be a great time. This is happening in Coconut Grove. We're in uh, Regatta Park. Uh, I think there's actually a marina. There's actually uh, should be like water and boats over that way, so we'll check that out too. But uh, yeah, I'm seeing GT2 RSs, GT3s. There's a couple GT3s. Uh, I believe this is a GT2. Look at that thing. So, let's go check out the show. All right, so it's noon, so it's not exactly the best time to be taking pictures, but you have all these nice cars. Look at this. Whole line of 964s, 911s, 930s. All this stuff right here. Look at this. You have Boxsters. And check it out right here. That's actually Miami City Hall. Check this out. This is a Roof CTR3 Club Sport. 777 horsepower. It's got the 3.8 flat six. Love the wheels. Check out that center lock. And it's got carbon ceramic brakes. Look at this. Huge, huge yellow caliper. This thing's nuts. Look at that. I think it's based on like a Cayman or Boxer chassis. Like it's kind of short. Oh, that is killer. Owner just popped the rear end for us. Look at that. Oh, this is nuts. Look at all the carbon fiber. It's got inboard suspension. Check out that billet piece for the uh, yeah. the rocker. Yeah. Look at this. Check out the carbon fiber intake. Oh, this is wild. This thing. Let's go around to the side. Well. Oh, that's actually one of the intercoolers. So the turbo must be a little further up there. Comes down that way. Actually, this might be the exit. Yeah, I think this is actually the exit to the intercooler. So it flows upward and then flows towards the manifold right there. Oh, check that out. That's the adjuster. So you have a, I guess, 10-way adjustable, adjustable damping there. Oh, this is nuts. So having suspension inboard like that gives you a, a lot more travel while requiring a lot less, well, vertical space. So that's pretty cool. You can see it's a fully adjustable, fully threaded coilover. Oh, this is nuts. CTR3 Club Sport. Uh, I believe this is actually roughly what a uh, the W Motors like in Hypersport is based on. Or the Fenrir Super Sport. Oh, this is wild. 777 horsepower. There we go. What's up, dude? It's been a little while. Yeah, man, how you doing? All right. Yeah, man, Sunday fun day, that's what we're doing. All right, so the, the owner's gonna open up the door for us. Let's check it out. Thank you. Oh, that's interesting. Check out the door panel. I love the plaid on the seat. Coming down to the floor mat. The Porsche logo in the middle. CTR3 on the, on the side. Black gauges, green letters. And there's the uh, controls for the PDK gearbox. box. This is a beautiful car. I love the color too. Look at this. Thank you. While we're on the subject of messing with CTRs, I just realized that I am in what's essentially a field of CTRs. Here's a CTR2. I'm not sure what exactly model, what exact model this one is. Maybe it's a CTR1, I guess, if we're continuing the trend. Ah, oh, it's a roof CTR. So this is a 1989 CTR, 463 horsepower, with a top speed of uh, 213 miles per hour. Look at that, air-cooled 911. Check out that massive intake. I mean, look at that thing. Holy cow. Hello. And here we have a CTR2. Is this Yellowbird? I think. I think that's what that is. 1998 3.6, 520 horsepower. This has got to have some turbos on it. Let's come back and check out that massive intercooler. Oh no. Is that 520 naturally aspirated? 
I don't see any supercharger, just this massive, massive intake. I'm guessing there must be a huge, uh, let's see if we can get my flashlight on it. Must be a huge air filter in there. Yeah, check it out. Massive air filter. It's like, oh, you think your, uh, your filter's big? Check out that one. Look at this bad boy. Wide body 911. I think this is a race car. Oh, yep, GT3R. Yeah. You know what? They used to host this show at the Sunset Place Mall in, uh, in Miami, and it was cool. It was, it was uh, they, they would take over the whole street, and it was this massive, massive area. But unfortunately, I mean, the Sunset Place Mall is kind of a dead mall. Like, nobody goes there. The shops are mostly closed. So this is a, a welcome change, having it here at the park. It's a lot more vibrant, a lot more beautiful than the, uh, you know, a dead mall. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Oh man, check out this beautiful, was it a 993 acid green RWB 911? Wow. Oh no, this is, is it, it's not, I don't think it's a 993, I think it's a 964. Yeah, I think all RWBs are 964s. I'm not sure, you know what, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe, no, that's a 993. Look at the tail lights, look at the headlights, it's a 993. They all look the same. <laughs> uh, but this is so sick. Check out the interior. It's got these like upgraded seats with diamond stitching. Check out that shifter. That is wild. Is it a is it a pneumatic shifter or is that just like some funky shift assembly? That is really cool. That's got to be a pneumatic shifter, like a sequential. So this thing got the crazy wide body, probably some some engine upgrades. For sure, it's it's got to have a, like some kind of sequential in there. This is this is nuts. This is a fun. This has got to be a fun car to drive. All right, guys, check this out. This is something that you hardly see these days. This is a TechArt 911 Turbo S. So this has the TechArt full body kit, the front bumper, side skirts, intakes, diffuser, out, rear air outlets, and the rear spoiler. So you just, look at this, it's got the TechArt logo right there in the middle. You never see TechArt stuff here in America. I think I've only seen like one car. It was a TechArt Boxster owned by my buddy Mark. And that's it. That's, that's all you've ever seen. Uh, so this has some pretty cool wheels on it. I'm not sure which wheels those are, but they are running the uh, center lock section. Center lock, <laughs> center lock lug. Oh man. So here's the Tech Art carbon fiber side skirt, the intake, cool carbon fiber sport. I think this is a 911 Turbo S. Yeah. Let's see carbon fiber bumper in the rear. Check out those exhaust tips. This is really nice. So I'm very, very glad that uh, Tech Art is going to be making a comeback to America. This is so, so nice. Look at this. Like, it's not like a massive difference between this and a stock 911 Turbo S, but it makes a difference. It makes, it, it makes like a, it makes like a statement. That's what it does. You know. Here you go. Look at that. That's what I like. Oh, guys, check out this purple RWB. Ooh, rotiform wheels. That's very nice. So the other RWB was more of a race car. Let's see what we have going on here. Does this also have a sequential? You know, I'm starting to wonder, are these sequential shifters or are they, are they just really fancy manual shifters? I don't know. Uh, if you know what that is, tell me in the comments. Check this out. Really wide body. I love this little lip here. So on top of this fiberglass piece, there's another fiberglass piece. It's almost like a wing just wicking the air upward. And it's, oh, it's also a vent. Look at that. So it's wicking the air upward. And then, hmm, I wonder how that's supposed to work. Because I guess there's a lot of high pressure air builds up in the wheel well. So that's supposed to relieve that air and allow it to exit outward. But if they have this wicking air upward, I don't know if it's providing any downforce. Maybe it just provides something for uh, reducing drag.
I'm over at the ticket clinic booth. This is Mark, the owner of this beautiful Porsche 911 in factory ruby stone red. So you said this is a Carrera RS? Hi, this is a, 19, a 1992 964 Carrera RS option M003, which is the NGT option, one of 290 total, which they take the Carrera RS, you get the, uh, the lollipop seats, the seat belts are all factory, factory roll bar, and all sound deadening uh, has been removed from the car, all from the factory. Wow. So it came from the factory with like no shift food like that? Exactly. No, just wow. All lightweight. Just strip down anything that's not necessary. Okay, open this up. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's pretty solid. You want to hold? There you go. I got it. You want something to hold the hood up? Nope. You can hold it up yourself. No, you got it. Yeah. You gotta keep it lighter. Wow. Everything in this car is pristine. I love it. Did the did it come factory with factory. a color yeah. matching fan? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. This is beautiful. You got the distributors right there. This is nice. This color is just incredible. You you never see ruby stone red cars. Oh, sorry, it's a mess. Oh, it's all right. Plenty of trunk space. So, from what I understand, this is the fuel tank. 110 liters. All right. It's about what? 25 gallons, give or take. 20 gallons. Do the, do the math. <laughs> That's what we're, we got Google for that. Very nice. Everything's just bare and exposed. Makes it easier to work on. So, one last thing. Can you open and close the doors? Sure. Because <laughs> this thing makes a beautiful sound. It's a very mechanical sound. So, that's open. Close. Go for it. It's just this one solid thud. Just boom. It's closed. That is beautiful. Well, thank you for bringing this car out. Thank you. Very nice. Awesome. And you know what's cool? It's not just the show that's good, but it's the parking lot as well. Here we have a beautiful 997 GT2, and this is the only one that I've ever seen without the carbon fiber hood. So, believe it or not, I, the carbon fiber hood on this is actually the factory hood. Having it painted is actually the option. I, I, I think, don't quote me on that, I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's the optional painted hood. But, look at this, GT2, oh yeah. Here we go. GT2 on the handbrake, just in case you forgot. Look at this, manual transmission. These have uh, steadily been increasing in value and now they're, gosh, I don't even remember what they're going for now, but something crazy, something fun. These are great cars. We have a beautiful 964, or is it a 930? We have a beautiful 911. Very, very nice, very nice car. There we go. 993. All right. There you go. Got a little harder than that. Oh, look at this. Look at the purple on this cabrio. This is a nice car. Look at that. There you go. Black calipers. There you go. Black 911. Gold wheels. What else is going on? What else is going on? Ooh, I like this. Look at the wheels on this car. This is different. This is interesting. It's kind of like the. It's kind of got this like dark blue color that would probably look blackish at night. Hmm. What is going on here? That shelf is too low to house the engine. I like that. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. You know, being able to take the target top components and put them in the in the back. But what's going on in the front? In the front, oh, it's not much of a trunk. As a matter of fact, what's going on here, that's a battery pack. In the back, there's a motor, an electric motor. See right there, those are the cables. This is an electric converted 911 Targa. It's a bit, it's a bit different, it's different. You know? Come around here, you see the carbon fiber uh, main loop. Flat interior. You can see the uh, control panel right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. You see a, t 
tablet right there for the, I guess, an information display slash radio. There we go. Now, it still has an RPM gauge in the center. However, it's electric now, so I'm not sure how that's working out. All right, guys, well, that concludes today's video. Ah, oh, so many nice cars, beautiful cars out there. I think I actually tried to set up a few future videos with some of the uh, some of the owners. So be sure to be on the lookout for uh, for those videos as soon as they're posted. But I'm heading back to the car. I'm going to get some lunch. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out finishhighandfactory.com. Like and subscribe, and I'm out. See ya. Bye.